when I first met my mom when I was in foster care, it was years until I felt like that family was going to be mine just because I went through so much and everyone just left me and just got rid of me and I just bounced from the next family to the next. And it wasn't until my mom showed up to my first wrestling tournament and was there cheering me on the whole time that I knew that she was going to be my number one fan and supporter for the rest of my life. I love my son very much. More than anything in the world. And I know our family has made sacrifices for this journey. But I know that in the long run, everything that he is doing is not only benefiting him, but so many other people. Everyone tells me how motivated they are by him and that it helps them in everyday life. But I was probably laying about right here. The individual came out of the restaurant behind us. He pissed with my friend right here with the door open. And when I went to the opposite side of my car, I saw he mounted up and proceeded to shoot. I remember that night when I was laying on the ground with a bullet hole in my arm, just sucking in blood from my lung. Is this what death is closest to, this feeling? The neurologist told me over and over, you're never going to walk again. That bullet's lodged in your spine, and we're not taking it out. So when I sat there, I gave myself two options. I can stop all this doubts of what could or couldn't be and just end it. Well, I have my second option of let's see what this life has. Just go and live and figure it out. And it came down to option one's always there. There's no harm in trying option two. And I said, let's do what I do best. And that's, I train and I excel. <laughs> My full name is Justin Tyler Fongsavon. I'm a 24 year old Asian American Paralympic athlete. We got the Laotian symbol here. It's the three headed elephant, which is the creator, the protector and the destroyer. And I thought it was a great representation to show the world forever that I'm proud of who I am. My first feelings after I came back to the gym was, how weak did I get? I, uh, I lost 50 pounds and I was worried that my bench would have plummeted below 225. And it was the first time I went from steel to being glass, but it didn't stop me. I kept going, I went hard, I did everything I could. And it was within about two weeks at the hospital in Iowa, I was fully independent. And so I started competing. My athletic accomplishments in Javelin are pretty extensive. Broke the national record within my first year, won a national championship, currently own the world record. I am the Pan American champion, and I am now the Paralympic Games bronze medalist. The number one thing that I am the most proud of with Justin is that he made the choice to live. I decided to take life for everything that it is and propel myself in a positive direction. And I just want to help, whether it's mentoring and coaching, high school adaptive sports clinic, or it's talking to elementary school kids on Zoom. I always make it a precedent to give back. After I was paralyzed and I realized that I'm bigger than just me, that there's a huge world out there and billions of people and people going through similar and or worse situations and that I can impact anyone's life by sharing my story. It's better than any high you could ever experience. <laughs>